tutorial on how to show you how to install custom fonts. So over here is our T tool. This is our horizontal type. You can see that there's a whole bunch of these. Really doesn't matter. That just brings up over here all of our fonts. Now when you go through the fonts, there's a whole bunch that are already pre-installed. But again, when we're thinking about typography, we're thinking about really customizing to our unique style. What you're going to do is you're going to go to uh, Google. My favorite site is dafont.com. That's dafont. And you can see that there's a whole bunch of different types of fonts. You can go from all of these categories or you can search right here. So I'm going to search for, I'll put it in school. Let's try school. So going down and I like this one right here. You're going to hit download and it's going to give you a zip file. When you get that zip file, it might be in your downloads too, in your downloads folder. But you're gonna click the zip file and you're going to get a folder. Inside of that folder are OTF or TTF files. When you double click the OTF and TTF, there may be a whole list of like 15 different ones. That's the italicized, bold, etc. You're going to get a font book install prompt you're going to install sometimes it might say that there's some slight errors in which case what you're going to do is you're going to say I understand there's slight errors click a little box and continue now that we have homeschool here we can go back over here and it should be inside of our font folder okay sometimes you can see that things don't necessarily translate over. You have to kind of figure out where periods are, commas are, colons are, etc.